guys, I'm up here in North Carolina and this beautiful scenery behind me, this little lake and stuff like this. We're just shooting a little bit of video to catch up. Um, I'll be home soon to Arizona. So winter is coming upon this. The water temperature is dropping all the time. What happens to those cold water baths when that water temperatures, it slows them down tremendously. I'm watching the bite go from 60, 70 baths a day down to 20 or 30, that it'll be going down to 10 and 15. A lot of guys are even only catching one or two right now. There's a lot of things you have to think about. Um, let me give you a few tips. One of them would be finding the food source. That's always the most important. Finding the bait fish and shad. It might be in eight feet of water, 10 feet of water. It might be in 20 feet, 30 feet. The shad are going deep, the fish are going deep. A lot of the fish I'm catching are getting 18, 19, 20 foot of water. The comfort zone. What is the comfort zone? That's the temperature of the water. They're gonna go where they're comfortable. If the surface temperature is 61, 62, they're gonna go down to a, maybe down to 67 or 68, 15 feet down. That's where that temperature is gonna stay the same down there. And of course, they want security. By security, I mean they want by big rocks. They wanna be by trees and limbs and stuff like that. Find those, you'll catch fish. What you're gonna to have to do, as I do, is I go down with a real lightweight fishing pole. You know, I just have real, real lightweight on here, eight, pen, eight, eight pound test. I have a real light pole, light reels. I have real light baits like this, one eighth ounce with uh, worms and stuff. And I use these little one eighth ounce jig heads. Hey, Phoenix Fishing has a lot of supplies down there. If you can't find your favorite baits at Bass Pro, Cabela's, or Sportsman, Phoenix Fishing has it. He has all my stuff we need. He has the little rods, the fishing poles. He has the jig heads. He has the 5150 worms. He's usually stocked up really good. With those tips, I think you're gonna catch more fish. I'll be back soon to be reporting from the lake. Thanks for watching Fishing with Gary.